back with another video and today I'm here with another member of C3 Car Club and we're gonna go over his uh, 2010 yes it's a 10 all right 2010 uh, Camaro and it is an RS model so it is a v6 but when I tell you this is like one of the cleanest show cars that I've ever seen it like he's got it hooked now of course this took some time to get it to where he wanted and it's still not done but this is John he's the one that's been working on this hey C3, you already know. <laughs> so this is this Camaro. I love the orange on it. And this is factory orange? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Inferno orange. Okay. I like that. And, of course, we got another member in our club, Janae. I'm talking about you. Uh, got another orange like this. I really like it. All the accents that he's done to it, it's even lowered. And we're just going to go over everything that he's done because if you guys have a Camaro, you're looking for some ideas that you could change it up, maybe be a little unique or something like that, you could do that. And, like I said, it did take some time to get it all like this so don't think that you're just gonna buy a camaro and just do all this unless you got it like that but that's different so. i don't i mean <laughs> look we yeah we don't a lot of people see us in this club like dang where y'all work at i'm like we just work and yeah. we have hobbies yeah. so i'm like that's yeah. that's what we do but what was um what was the first thing you did when you got this car when i got this car the first thing i did well i put it to you like this i ordered this car in okay. 2009 Oh, so 2009. I, so okay. I called it a 2009. It wasn't out yet. Yeah. So I ordered the car, and I had ordered the wheels first. Mm -hmm. It wasn't those wheels. Right? right. The wheels I ordered are sitting in my garage. Okay. And I had those custom painted. Mm -hmm. I just drove it straight to the rim shop, put the wheels on it, and then me and my wife drove it straight to Texas. Why y'all drive it all the way to Texas? Go see my son. Oh, okay. He's an Air Force. Oh, okay. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. I didn't see not one Camaro from here mm -hmm. to Texas. And that's how you knew you were different. Yeah. <laughs> that's see, how you I knew was. right there. Okay. Yeah, that's the first thing I got. Mm -hmm. uh, the next thing after that, I got the spoiler from RK Sports. I do like that spoiler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it sits up a little bit. At that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, this is new. Yeah. So, yeah. They only made one set of wheels, and I got them. Mm -hmm. right? I had my engine cover painted. Okay. Right. Nobody Could had I, done that. Can I show that? This is the, the third engine cover. The third one? Yeah, Janet has one of them. Oh, yeah, because it's the Tiger Fan one. Okay. Yeah. It's the third one that I had done. So what would you do with the first one? Uh, the first one, I gave that one to another friend of mine. I gave it to no, Matter of fact, I gave it to my brother, and he had it painted to match his Camaro. Mm -hmm. All this here, this changes colors with the lights at night. Mm -hmm. You so, guys can see the lights running along right there. Yeah, but the lights down here mm -hmm. changes the colors. Oh, I see it. Like this here. Yeah, okay. But when that changed, those that changed. Mm -hmm. That was and painted by Kenny Hayden. So you got the K and N on there, so yeah, that's got what's up. You know, you know, got a little bit of little bit of speed. Of body spacer. <laughs> ah, I got okay. all the um, I have all the the billet stuff. You know, mm -hmm. got all the billet stuff. I got that from Camaro Fest. Mm -hmm. They're cheap. I'm thinking about going this year. Oh man, it's you know, <laughs> I'm I'm, re I'm really thinking about going. So yeah, you get everything dirt cheap and mm -hmm. some of the big stuff they'll install it for you right there on the spot. That's what I like. You yeah. know, it's just you need a mod, yeah. you just go there and get it done. And this car was, see, my, the orange on my car is a little bit different than Janae's. Mm -hmm. Because you know, mine was hand painted where you ordered them. Mm -hmm. and, and hers was on the assembly line. So they look a little different. Just, just a little bit, a little yeah. Bit. If they were next to each other, you, you will make me look next time. And what's, what was the story behind Z26? All right, the story behind the Z26 <laughs> is this. I feel like. Okay, the Cavalier was a Z24, uh -huh. and the V8 Camaro is a Z28. Right. This is a 6. Okay. So it's a Z26. And I feel like if Carol Shelby and everybody could make their own Mustangs. Yeah, with that RTR and, 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 and all and, those And the Shelby yeah. GT500 or whatever. Yeah, exactly. I can make my own Camaro. There you go. The best part about cars is you can really make them your own. They don't have to be just your 
daily A to B driver. I'm like, make it unique. Make make yourself stand out a little bit exactly. so, you, so you don't look like traffic is what you say. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, so. <laughs> had to send exhaust done at Tony's muffler. Okay, yeah, I got my exhaust work done at Tony's muffler too. Yeah, I haven't seen another one yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's different too. So here's a spoiler he was talking about, you know. Got some nice little size to it. And the spoilers they got now, like a duck bill where you drill it and it comes up yeah, like that. Yeah. I do like that, but I, I like just. That's, that's actually the, um, the Dale Earnhardt Jr. spoiler. Okay. Yeah, he, he made those. Okay. And of course, we got Virginia's Finest right here. And of course, another centerpiece when you come to the inside, the floor mats are absolutely dope. I really yeah. like the rugged look. I see some color right there, so there's lights yeah, on the inside yeah, and outside. I got the footwear lights. Mm -hmm. I got the underbody, um, you can't see them in the daytime, but I got the underbody LED. Right. Two sets. The Villa Shifter. Yeah. I got that from Camaro Fest. How much yeah. was that? Is that was that also cheaper? 30 than? bucks. No, uh. 30 bucks. This right here, 30 bucks. Yeah. That is dope. What about the handle on the got that handbrake? Got Camaro Fest mm -hmm. and the, the cup holder thingy, the Pioneer Double Den mm -hmm. screen in there. Yeah. Oh the, yeah, I see that now. Had the orange carbon fiber done on the doors and the and the dash. I do like that orange carbon fiber. Like that's all the way different. Like it looks really good. Even got the texture on it and everything. Just got the seats done. And your headrest. And the headrest. The seats was done at the interior guys. Mm -hmm. The headrest was done at Canards. Yo, if you had orange seatbelts. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be crazy, right? If you had orange seatbelts. See, see, now you're going to make me go spend my wife's money. Why well, got to be your wife's money? Because <laughs> whatever money I make go to her. Exactly. So, yeah, you're right. So I got to go spend her money. And, and I'm like, I like that you kept it consistent. You got the detail in the back, too. So that's dope. Yeah. What percentage window tint do you have on these? It's, it's legal. It's um 50% in the front, 35 in the back. Except for the side window was blacked Right, out. yeah. Yeah, I see I that. I blacked that out to give it a more racy look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, I mean, it goes along with this too, so right. I like that. Right. And um. Right. And of course, the speakers and the door don't come like that. Yeah. I do all my audio work. Yeah, John is huge on speakers. You guys can see he got it up here, over there on the side. I'm, I'm high on um. Got Sarah some in Guala. the back. Oh yes. Like yeah. he he will be bumping, and when we're parking lot pimping, and he will be bumping, and it's the cleanest sound you've ever heard come out of a car. Is it? You got the hook up in the trunk too? Of course, of course you do. You got three eights in here. Mm -hmm. Everything in here is American base. Okay. So I have um, two six and a half in the door competition. Mm -hmm. I have uh, four SQ six by nine, two in the back, two on the sides. Mm -hmm. I cut my initials in here. Oh, okay. That's I mean, what it, that is. It, it gets brighter. Mm -hmm. It gets brighter as you know as it get darker. Right. All this is lit up. I put the infinity lights back here. Yeah, I like that. I'm running um, three VFL amps in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two for my highs and mids, and one for my subs. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a clean sound system. Oh, yeah. I was like, I, it's cool. like I said, one of the cleanest I've heard. Because it's like a lot of people, a lot of cars you hear when they have loud music, you hear the bass and it just kind of rattles everything. But this is clean where That's the bass thing. complements everything, you That's know? That's what I try to tell people, you know. Um, one thing I do, my whole car, I got the whole car out. Mm -hmm. And I sound dead and everything. Mm -hmm. And I put peel and seal. Incidentally, you know, you can use um, a dyno mat. Mm -hmm. But that stuff is way expensive. Mm -hmm. You can go to Lowe's, to the roofing section, and get peel and seal. It's the exact same thing. It comes on a roll about this big. And you can do your whole trunk for 16 bucks. Yeah. And I'm like, so what's down here? Is it anything? This is actually um, an infinitive light that I, I built. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's way deep. Yeah, that's why I like But it's it. only about this deep. It's about that What? Mm. <laughs> By looking at it, I couldn't tell. There's only one strip of lights, too. Oh. Wow. Well, yeah. shoot. Yeah. Did it right, because I was like, that illusion just looks like, oh, where does that go to? Well, well <laughs> for, the, of the for those that want to build it, you put a mirror here, you put a mirror here, mm -hmm. you put a light in between, and it just reflects ah. on each other. Got you. It's, it's a whole lot on this car. It's, it's some stuff I'm probably missing. You know? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But I'm like, from I what this I car see, every year, so it's always something different. Exactly. And I might run across some stuff that I might have done that I should have changed, mm -hmm. and it's still there. I might mm -hmm. run across it two years later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this little stuff. Look, watch y'all come back. He has some orange seat belts because I said so. <laughs> Look, of course the tire levels. That was. Really cool. Yeah, did you have to put those on yourself? Yeah, I put those on. Okay. But the it, thing about those, this is what you do when you build your car. 
all y'all in YouTube land, this is what you do. <laughs> you get you three people, and when you come up with an idea, you ask them what would they do, mm -hmm. right? And if two of them say they'll do this, then you do the opposite. There you go. Yep. It's got to be different out here. Everybody said I should have had white. But you're like, no. No, I'm going to put the yellow on it. <laughs> so when I put the yellow on it, it actually popped the car. It did, because yellow goes with the orange and everything. So I, I was like, I think it looks really good. If I put yellow on mine, it wouldn't go. Because I was like, I got burgundy red and stuff like that. So, But this orange, it goes really well. But ask somebody else, what would they go with? Mm-hmm. You know, Let's see what they would say. Have you two colors in your head. Ask somebody else. And if they say, well, I go with this color, then you go with that color. Fair. It's a lot of, it's a lot of opportunities, it's a lot of possibilities. As I know, he's still not done with this, no. and <laughs> by any means, never done. as a car enthusiast, you are never done modding your car. But I'm like, I think it looks great, and I know he's very happy with it. So don't ever get that doubt in your head that you know we keep modding our cars because we're not satisfied. It's like, nah, if we no, have an idea, hobby. and it it really is. It's yeah. it's just an expensive hobby, but it's a hobby that we really enjoy. So. As y'all know, I'm I'm slowly working on the Jeep. I got I got some wheels coming soon, so you know it's 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 what we do. I, I'll mod anything that I got. Yeah, Every I car I've had is personal, so I, I know just like my daily driving is personal. Which I might have to review. That's yeah, a that's got, a BMW. You what got again? To drive that, uh, <laughs> active Habit Three. Okay. Yeah, yeah we we have to see what that's talking about. Yeah, you got to drive that. <laughs> you got to drive. I definitely will. The lowering it it looks good too. He gonna make me want to lower mine now. Box springs. One inch all the way around. Got those from Camaro Fest too, and and my son put those on there. But that thing ride up the Cadillac. How much were they? Uh, Two sixty nine. Okay. Then, then my son put them on for free. Okay. You know, but the thing about the Camaro is, you don't need a spring compressor. So that's it's, it's not that much tension on the springs, and it's just you loosen the bolt and it comes off slow. Hmm. Uh, so he, he lowered this car out. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate John for letting me come here and talk about his baby because this, this is beautiful. And as you guys know, uh, make sure you stick with C3 because show car season is right around the corner. It's March 2nd. It's still cold outside, but, you know, we're coming through this year. So uh, you'll be seeing stuff like this out in any of our events. So make sure you guys stick with us on our Instagram and Facebook pages. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, hit that like button if you did enjoy and subscribe to my channel because I do post twice a week. So there's always something cool for you to watch. But thank you guys again and I'll see y'all next time. Take care.